Okay, so this next mnemonic is to help you remember the complications associated with a trauma patient. So trauma patients, they've got to be assessed very quickly for adequate perfusion as part of the trauma survey. So most likely this is being done in the emergency department. Um, trauma can lead to, lead to overt or covert blood loss resulting in shock. So maybe you, you, maybe you have this obvious external bleeding um, resulting in this blood loss or you may have some internal bleeding and the patient is hemorrhaging but you have no idea. So if there's significant blood loss, the patient may develop what's called DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation. Huge deal. Really, really big deal, guys. I would really, if you're not familiar with it, encourage you looking that up. Um, but this can occur as they begin to deplete their available, available clotting factors. So the mnemonic is actually the word traumatic, T-R-A-U-M-A-T-I-C. So the letters stand for tissue perfusion problems, R, respiratory problems, A, anxiety, U, unstable clotting factors, M, malnutrition, A, altered body image, T, thromboembolism or fat embolism, I, infection, and C, coping problems. A lot of those um, are pretty obvious what they mean, but I just have a little story about fat embolisms. So I know you guys, most of you that are listening to this are probably in nursing school. And one of my big frustrations with nursing school was here's um, 500 pages of material, and here's a 25-question quiz. So much information to remember for a 25-question quiz, right? So I don't remember what, I think it was my hematology section, and I felt like a rock star. I thought I walked out of that test, and I did so great. And I actually thought I got all of them right, which has rarely happened. And when I got my test back, I got a question wrong, and it was one about a patient having a broken bone, and therefore have a trauma patient. They were had a fall or something like that. And I didn't know that a patient with a broken bone, you want to, you have to worry about a fat embolism. Um, that can be a huge complication, but I had no idea. And it was one of those things that was not explained extensively. It was like a caption of a picture, and or it was like a, a text box or something in one page of my 500 pages. And I thought that the fat embolism option was like, you know, the f eliminate this one first. Like I had no idea that that would have to be something I had to watch out for. And I will always remember that. I went to nursing school. I graduated nursing school six years ago, and that one still sticks in my brain. It's the one that got away, guys. So when you have a patient that has a broken bone, a trauma patient, you really, you do need to worry about these uh, fat embolisms that can occur as a result of the break, um, in addition to like just a thromboembolism as well. So again, the mnemonic is traumatic. T, tissue perfusion problems. R, respiratory problems. A, anxiety. U, unstable clotting factors. M, malnutrition. A, altered body image. T, thromboembolism or a fat embolism. I, infection. And C, coping problems. This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to NRSNG.com slash freebies. That's NRSNG.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.